Hello everybody, welcome to my chess video. The position before you uh, is a short study composed by the great composer Gendrich Kasparian. Before we begin, as usual, I would suggest you to pause and analyze in between the video as much as possible in order to get the maximum benefit and pleasure out of it. It is white to move and win, and white pawns move in this direction. Okay. Now pause and think about the key features of this position and what move you would make if you were white. Okay, white here actually plays knight e8. So what is the idea behind this move? The key idea here in the position, if you look at this initial position, is that uh, black king position is pretty restricted because uh, these squares are taken up maybe by the bishop and these squares are controlled by white king and uh, using this we can create a mating net around the king so by knight e8 what we are trying to achieve is to get to g7 square and uh, try to create a mating net so why, some of you might ask why not why a knight e8 why not the other way of getting to g7 square uh, through knight f5 um, this doesn't work because this blocks this diagonal so the king black king can escape to king g4 even though white has a fork knight e3 after king f3 knight into f1 rook f2 there is no way for white to win this position. So knight e8 is the best move. After that black goes to king g6. Why king g6? Because if he makes some other move say a random move like uh, rook h h1 uh, then knight g7 check king g6 f5 check rook takes f5 bishop takes f5 is checkmate. So King g6, he has a uh, escape. Uh, is, uh, the king is trying to escape via uh, f6 after moving f5 in case black's knight comes to g7. So uh, this this is the move that has to be made. Now pause and think for a while. Uh, about how can white spoil black's escape plan okay he actually moves h5 check hmm. now our rook takes h5 is forced uh, because if uh, king takes h5 uh, then knight g7 check, king g6, f5, rook takes f5, bishop takes f5, checkmate as we have seen earlier. So rook takes h5 is forced. So what is what is the idea behind the h5? Uh, so did you see that? If not, pause and try to find why it's a brilliant idea. Okay. Why now plays the move f5 check? and again rook takes f5 is forced um, and thing now if you observe the position is that the escape path of black king is completely blocked and the pawns cannot move uh, either so um, so far white has managed to block everything but how can he take advantage of this this position so can you find it so if he he actually plays the move g4 here um, if some of you might wonder uh, what happens after something like knight uh, g7 then black just plays g5 and g4 and uh, the king can escape so white gets in first and plays g4 so uh, black 
say play something like rook e5 um, now again the plan is uh, if knight comes to g7 uh, black will play f5 and escape with the king through uh, the f6 square so what is the idea what is what is the idea white had uh, against this plan okay a pause and try to find the best move for white here the best move okay the white actually plays the move bishop f5 check yeah let's just go back and what happens if white plays something like knight g7 and as I said f5 spoils everything so white plays bishop f5 check and the only move is rook takes f5 and now he plays knight g7 and mate follows in the next move wow that was short and sweet study for example if uh, the rook moves let's say it's made in this direction or uh, if the rook uh, after the end, g7 rook moves here g into f5 is made in this direction hmm. one special feature of this beautiful study is that um, with this uh, is the key position which uh, Kasparian was aiming uh, all along um, has a beautiful symmetry about it and this symmetry is aesthetically pleasing uh, even though the move themselves are beautiful um, the symmetry add, uh, adds to the beauty of the study and I hope you all enjoyed this and I will see you in my next video